Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rao. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel Mathematics by Dr. N. Rao. Today I am going to record the another lecture based on the De Morbius theorem, which is a part of the complex number. Okay. So before going to the further study about some important examples based on the uh, De Morbius theorem, I request each and everyone to subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share the videos among your classmates and among among your friends and uh, comment in the comment box and press the bell icon to get the further notification okay so now i start with the with this question which is displayed on the uh, screen so i talk about the solution okay bhai kaam bahut aasan hai simple simple step hai acha dekhne mein question thoda mushkil lagta hai but the question is very easy to solve okay so first of all i would like uh, to write given okay what is given given is that x are equals to cos pi upon 2 to the uh, power r plus iota sin pi upon 2 to the power r or in short i can say it c i s pi upon 2 to the power r okay where r runs from and you can say where uh r run from 1 2 3 dot 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 up to infinity okay up to infinity now come on what about now what about x1 x2 x3 dot 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 up to infinity what about this product so if i talk about the x1 so x1 will be C I S pi two to the power one because the value of x one uh, in place of r I will replace one okay in place of r I will replace one then I will say x one is cos pi upon two to the power one plus iota sine pi upon two to the power one equals to C I S pi upon two to the power one so I will say it is your x one okay what about your s x two So pi upon two to the power two, right? And uh, pi six pi upon two to the power three. And similarly, this product will go up to infinity. This product will go up to infinity. Okay, infinity, right? So come on. So by the properties of the complex number. Product of two complex number in the polar form, I can write six pi upon two, right? Plus pi upon two square, right? Plus pi upon two to the power three. These questions are very easy to solve. Okay, are very easy to solve. Just a simple mathematics we are doing here. If I talk about uh, the formula is used here, so we can say. If I have c alpha means uh, cos alpha plus iota sin alpha, right? And uh, another uh, complex representation is cos beta is uh, cis beta is cos beta plus iota sin beta. And if I multiply, for example, these two numbers means cis alpha into cis beta. So I will write it as cis alpha plus beta what does it mean what does it mean it means that if cos alpha plus iota sin alpha is multiplied by cos beta plus iota sin beta then it will give you cos alpha plus beta then plus iota sin alpha plus beta okay understood so If you are multiplied to complex representation is, then the real part theta will be added by the real parts, and the imaginary part theta will be added by the imaginary parts. Okay. So, similarly, if this product is going to up to the infinity, means pi by two, pi by two square, pi by three, two to the power three, so we will write it as okay. And on simplification, on simplification, we will write it as C I S is. We will take pi by two outside here. You will get one plus pi by two. Sorry, one by two. 
okay 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square and plus dot 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 up to infinity okay which is a geometric progression with the common ratio of 1 by 2 so we know the formula of the geometric progression geometric progression means a uh, a a plus a r plus a r square plus a r to the power 3 and plus dot 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 up to infinity it is a geometric progression sum of geometric progression up to the infinite number of terms okay so the formula is the first term means a upon 1 minus common ratio okay so the first term is here 1 right a upon 1 minus the common ratio is 1 by 2 okay simply so it is the sum of the infinite number of sum of the infinite number of terms of the geometric series now it is 6 uh, pi by 2 right and 1 uh, minus 1 by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 right so you will get c i s pi c is pi okay it means cos pi plus iota sine pi okay and which is what cos pi is what cos pi the value of cos pi is uh, minus 1 right the value of sine pi is 0 uh, it will give you minus 1 so if you see uh, in the first part of this question then infinite number of product of x1 x2 x3 up to infinity is, is, is nothing but minus 1 so you can say hence proved okay hence proved so the work methodology is very simple only basic mathematics mathematics is required and in the second part there is xr equals to cos pi upon 3 to the power r only one change he, here in place of 2 we are uh, writing 3 to the power 3 in place of 2 there is a 3 3 so we will solve similarly in place of 2 we will write in place of th in place of 2 we will write 3 here okay but one more thing so we need to show that actually this question is written uh, incomplete so we need to show that x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot 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 xn the product of n, n number of terms not infinite number of terms they it is a product of n number of terms which is this and it is the product of infinite number of terms which is iota okay so come on we saw we solve the second part and in the second part i first of all i will write given what is given given that xr equals to c i s pi upon 3 to the power r it is very simple okay so if you write x1 then you can say cis pi upon 3 to the power 1 and if you need to write x2 so you will write c i s pi upon 3 square right and similarly up to n number of terms or infinite number of terms whatever if you will if you need to write x in so so you will write c i s cis pi upon 3 to the power n okay very simple now come on we need to calculate x1 x2 x3 and do 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 xn right the product of n number of terms so what about the x1 it is cis pi upon 3 come on what about the x2 cis pi upon 3 square and cis pi upon 3 to the power 3 and do 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 cis pi upon 3 to the power n it is the product of n number of terms so you will write simply the calculation are very simple okay uh, you will write cis pi upon 3 plus pi upon 3 square plus pi upon 3 to the power 3 and plus dot 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 plus uh, pi upon 3 to the power n right 3 to the power n by the property of you can say where cis alpha plus cis uh, sorry where cis alpha into cis beta 
or into cis gamma is nothing but c cis alpha plus beta plus gamma okay so you, you can say like this okay now come on cis you can take pi by 3 outside here pi by 3 okay so you will get 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square and plus dot 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 plus 1 upon 3 to the power n minus 1 because you have taken 1 by 3 outside here so there is a power n so you will uh, uh, there will be 3 to the power n minus 1 okay now come on so you will write simplify it is again a geometric series and it is the sum of up to n number of terms so if i say uh, in a geometric series the sum of n number of terms right means the sum of this okay where the first term is a and r is your common ratio so the sum is a 1 minus r to the power n r means the common ratio 1 minus r okay so simply we will apply here the first term is the value of a is 1 here and 1 minus the common ratio is 1 by 3 right and divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 right now come on solve it cis pi by 3 and you can write it 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n and it is your you know you can take 3 lcm here in the in the denominator you will write uh, 3 minus 1 by 3 so this 3 will be cancelled out okay so on simplification you will write 3 minus 2 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 so it is pi by 2 1 minus 1 upon 3 to the power n right so in short when you will write in terms of cos in sign so it will be cos pi by 2 okay cos pi by 2 1 minus 1 upon 3 to the power n and plus iota sine pi by 2 right 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n okay so it is the sum of first n number it is the product of first n number of terms okay you will see this this one which is proved okay you will say hence proved hence proved so the work methodology is very simple to prove you need to follow the very simple simple space and you will assign the five marks in your examination for such type of questions in a single part if both the part asked then you will award it the 10 marks for that okay come on now uh, hands show that we need to also show that this infinite number of product is equals to iota okay means what we need to show that come on x1 into x2 into x3 dot 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 up to infinity not up to xn okay up to infinity so if i write this so i can say limit and tends to infinity and x1 this x2 this x3 dot 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 xn right xn means this product is going to infinity so i can write in another words like this okay so what does it mean it means then limit and tends to infinity and the value of this is what value of this is this right we have calculated here the product of x1 x2 x3 up to xn is what this value right this one so or this one but i will use this value c i s pi by 2 right 1 minus 1 upon 3 to the power n now by the property of the limit you can use cis pi by 2 right 1 minus limit and tends to infinity 1 upon 3 to the power n okay so you can write cis pi by 2 and 1 minus 0 what about the limit of this it is 0 so you can say it is cis pi by 2 or you can say cos pi by 2 plus iota 
sine pi by 2 and what about the cos pi by 2 and the value of cos pi by 2 is 0 and then plus iota the value of sine pi by 2 is 1 so you will say it is iota hence proved so the work methodology is very simple for such type of questions okay i hope you have enjoyed this session so keep uh, watching the videos so see you in the next video lecture thank you very much with some important example